Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, today I'm going to showcase the long-range warfare power yet again. As you can see, uh, the enemies uh, got the behemoth uh, while uh, there is some troops. So it's a best opportunity for me to showcase my strategy by having uh, four ranged legions and let's see how much merits we are going to get uh, out of this fight which will be uh, really really interesting at first uh, it's always great idea to hide them uh, from the behemoths because you are going to get a lot of damage uh, like there is a circle as always uh, try to be on the other side of the circle so you won't gonna get targeted by the bear well, bear itself does not do a lot of damage. What what does damage in general is the charge and you are go going to knock up and you are not going to deal damage in general. As you can see, I moved uh, up to the circle and straight up uh, the aggro came to me. Uh, that's why I'm trying my best right now to just move around the circle and try to not get damaged as you can see this is the charge which i was speaking about it can just roll you up and you are going to get knocked and damaged which you don't want to get simply because you always prefer to fight against the enemies the enemy is actually working pretty well because they are avoiding our damage whenever we are outside of like inside the circle now I think it's a great opportunity for me to deal some damage, which I will of course do. And as always, doesn't really matter if you are fighting against tier 5 or tier 4 players. It's always important to understand that you should not get targeted like this. And whenever your screen will be uh, red, it's much much better to move back. Uh, because you are just simply taking unnecessary damage. Uh, right now, as I can see that uh, my allies are coming close, um, I went back and dealt some damage. The Phoenix Eye, uh, once again, one of the best uh, artifacts for the mass uh, PvP battles because you will be able to uh, hit four nearby legions. That's how I generally get merits out of the fights. Yeah, finally, the behemoth is almost gone and it's a great opportunity for me to get some merits uh, and it's, it, it looks like some free merits simply because of uh, long-range warfare which I'm advising every single um, marksman or ranged player in general because I'm not sure if, you are, if we are going to have the long-range warfare in the future seasons, that's why uh, try to have fun while we, we can do it, right? That's my main idea, like I have been playing marksman since day one and I I generally always said that I wish I had more range, um, I wish I was more faster re regarding like march speed and finally in this season uh, the developers of this game gave us the opportunity to have a longer range which is like my dream as a marksman player and like that's what I'm actually doing. Uh, since, the, since the beginning of the TI. Uh, well, my merit score is pretty good in terms of free-to-play player. Uh, that's why, like, in this season, whenever I have a chance to uh, fight, I'm using it because, yeah, like, this game is a fighting game. If you are not going to fight, then I'm not sure what are you doing in this game. Uh, like, there is much, much better games only for farming, uh, like, in other Kingdom Builder games. Uh, Call of Dragons in general is really popular uh, simply because of the combat gameplay which is amazing in this game that's why uh, it became my favorite that's why I'm playing it and that's why I'm trying to make some content for this amazing game uh, it was pretty easy but the main problem was actually the uh, behemoths so finally we are pushing and like it feels great whenever enemy is fighting uh, it means that, uh, yeah, like a lot of merit for you. Uh, I wish I would not get targeted in this moment, but it is what it is. I will hide behind my allies members and uh, that's how I'm going to deal some damage. Unfortunately, I was standing still there, but it's fine. Uh, it's just for a couple of seconds. 
have enough arrows. Oh, I nice. guess uh, like infantry is moving up and it's hard for me to click on the correct person. Right now I'm getting targeted. I will move back. Uh, a lot of people just targeted my legions. That's why it's better just to, to fall back and maybe they will follow you. That's sometimes the case. And that's why I'm always moving back because enemies can just overextend in this kind of moments. And as you can see, this guy is overextending. He's just moving up uh, who just hit my legions. And my alliance members are just standing there and uh, dealing free damage to that enemy. Yeah, finally, all the targets are gone and I'm back into the battlefield. That's like generally how I play. Uh, during war moments, like my main idea, like if you want to have some merits, you your legion should stay alive longer in the battlefield. Doesn't matter if you are pay to win player, free to play player, like staying alive is the most important aspect if you want to deal some damage. Right now, I'm going to use my artifact, which is uh, Phoenix Eye, and I will try my best to hit a couple of legions. Unfortunately, because of this Garwood. Now, it's not that easy, but I think finally the Garwood will die and I will have a chance to hit those members which are standing here. Uh, my legion is moving up and yeah, this is a great moment. Uh, we hit the maximum amount of legions uh, in this uh, in this small, small choke point. And yeah, my legions are still alive. Uh, like that's a great uh, news right because that's only because i have i'm playing with long range warfare i still don't want to check how much merits i got from this fight because that's how i generally fight uh, whenever my legions are at home that's a moment when i want to find out how in general that, that fight went and that's how i can know if i'm dealing damaged or not right if I will just check it, like every single uh, little skirmish, uh, I won't. I, I like. I, it will be hard for me to understand um, how much merits I generally did in this fight. Like my legion is still alive. Uh, that's why I, I, I just don't want to check it. Right. For a free-to-play player, I think uh, if you are fighting against uh, three or four players, uh, somewhere near like fifteen thousand merits per legion is a good amount. Depending how long did you stay alive, like especially in this moment, I'm alive for a long, long time. Um, I wish I could use my Phoenix Eye one more time, but that's totally fine. Uh, it's already a big amount of time that I'm alive. That's why uh, the general idea of making this video is to help you guys to understand that even if you are free to play player you can do stuff uh, in the battlefield it's not that hard like main idea is to just uh, don't get targeted whenever you are seeing that it's uh, like a lot of uh, enemy legions are targeting your legion just try to be cautious uh, like understand when and how to attack right now i have only 8000 uh, mages and if i will use my artifact that will be like maximum damage which i can do from this legion that's why I was cautious, uh, I'm not sure if, if this phoenix I just hit the enemy or not, but it's fine. Uh, for a one legion, if you are going to use your artifact at least like three or four times, like trust me, you already accomplished your job as a free to play player or tier 4 player. I guess they are teleporting out or in, uh, like it seems like in. Uh, but doesn't really matter. We are we have a great position here. We are hitting some mages. That's why again, uh, it's amazing to have uh, long-range warfare. Right. Soon we are going to see how much merits we got from this fight. Uh, like um, right now, I I even prefer to just die because my legion count is really really low, and it's time for me to see the result of this uh, big skirmish. Uh, of course, the fighting will continue. If if I will see that there will be a big war, then of course I'm going to start the live stream. For now, let's check uh, for a free-to-play player how the reports will look, and uh, like maybe I will change your mind regarding uh, having fun in this game and like understanding that uh, it's not that important if you are paying uh, in this game or not. Like you can generally have fun in this game.
26,030, like 2332, uh, well, that's how this fight went. It's pretty interesting simply because my weakest legion right here is Thea and Craig. And I got 26 um, with the Thea and Craig. The strongest legion right now I have is Nico and Kinara because all the legendary tokens I got in this game I spent on awakening for the Kinara. And the Kinara is 5553. Five, five, uh, Nico is simple free to play Nico, nothing important. But what's interesting from this aspect is that. Syndrome and Fregar is 5111, both of them, and all the time whenever I see the reports, uh, I see that uh, Syndrome and Fregar is pe performing amazingly. Uh, that's why I said uh, most important meta for the marksman um, like heroes are Syndrome and Fregar. Unfortunately, a lot of Paytoin players told me that in order to have absolute fun with Syndrome and Fregar, you need to have at least Syndrome and Awak Awakened, but uh, for a free-to-play player, it's hard to awaken a couple of legendary heroes at like at the same time. Like you are going to, you are not going anywhere even with the strategy. That's why at first I will awaken my Kinara, and after that I will try to use the VIP shop uh, for the Syndra awakening. Right? Uh, I'm not sure. Like maybe I'm uh, over exaggerating, uh, but uh, this amount of merits for a free-to-play player. Is a good amount of merits, right? Like generally, I see this uh, amount with the pay-to-win players whenever they are pinging or sharing the reports in the chat. Tell me, what do you think about this? Uh, like this uh, war happened between same kind of power players. Uh, that's why I managed to stay alive that much longer. But main idea is to just not get targeted whenever you. Your screen is red, just fall back, enemy will follow you and your alliance members will attack those enemies. It was pretty interesting, we had to fight uh, against the uh, behemoths and the enemies which were quite a good amount. Uh, hopefully this kind of videos will help you to improve your merit score because if you want to be in a good alliance uh, with a lot of pay to win players, as a free to play player, only way for you to Join them is to be active and the only statistical ways of understanding is if a person is active or not is a merit score, right? And in general, as I said, if you are playing Call of Dragons, you love the gameplay, you love the combat of this game and like that's your main idea, right? You're researching your research, you're equating your army in order for you to in the end uh, fight and get some uh, amazing amount of merits. Of course, I'm going to in, uh, join this fight again, uh, which looks uh, kind of good for me because uh, yet again, it's an opportunity for me to get more merits in this game. As you can see, still for mage players, Lilia is the, one of the most uh, popular and uh, like uh, strongest one. Uh, I still see a lot of Bertrands in the battlefield. But uh, like longer this season will go, uh, we will be fighting against tier 5 players and I think uh, with the tier 5 players I will see a lot more Bertrand and Dohar. That's the two legendary heroes which are the newest. Uh, that was, that's why uh, people need some time in order for them to understand uh, how those heroes work in general and how, what's the benefits and what kind of hero pairs they might work in the future. Like for example, Indies have been with us since day one and the people like right now we are figuring out another ways of utilizing the Indies, right? And that's why uh, sometimes uh, players need some time to just try the obvious hero pairs and then uh, turn on their gamer minds and uh, find out the OP strats and OP strategies. Um, why? Simply because of the flying uh, units, uh, of course, Thea will be here the faster, uh, but of course I'm going to wait uh, all of my legions because I'm having the Hertz as one, which I 100% advise to have if you are playing ranged units in general. Now, in my opinion, long range warfare is the most talked about talent, but not, not a lot of people are talking about Hertz as one. Now, which is like if you are playing long range warfare, you have to have the Hertz one because, uh, like, people only think that uh, uh, this uh, 
artisanal talent tree is only for marksmen, but no, this talent tree is for ranged units, not, not only for marksmen, not only for mages, it's for ranged ones, right? Like, uh, it's easy to understand. Uh, all the time, uh, ranged units were missing march speed, uh, there we go, gale of speed. Uh, you are more normal attacker, or you just simply have more lot of ranged units, Hertz is one. And here, of course, you have a choice, um, which is your main, uh, from the two ranged uh, legions, you gotta cho choose it, and uh, you will understand that uh, like you are already used to having uh, mage legions, and you want to try something new, of course, if you are not a marksman player, but if I was, a, uh, for example, uh, if I used a couple of marksman legions in the past, I might have went for mages, but simply because... I already decided that my main uh, gameplay will be only on the marksman and my first tier 5 free to play uh, legion will be marksman it was easy for me to choose between uh, mages and like long range warfare uh, finally my legion is here unfortunately i did not want to have my uh, garwood here that's why i will uh, send this uh, big boy at home uh, i generally don't play as an infantry or melee uh, units um, in wars. I'm only using Garwood for the farming of Darklings. Uh, the second fight, let's start it. Let's see how much merits we are going to have. Uh, this time they don't have any behemoths, uh, which means it will be a lot easier for me to choose the better position um, in the battlefield. And yeah, of course, uh, because of the long range warfare, I will always target uh, backline. Uh, that's where you are going to deal a lot of damage as a marksman because yeah, like for the marksman in general, mages are uh, like paper. I see that a lot of legions came out from this side. I will choose the different location to uh, deal some damage here. Uh, okay, like let's clear some infantry because these people are sending a lot of infantry legions uh, towards us. Uh, yeah, like they are trying to make it into the circle, I guess. Uh, I'm always trying to just click on uh, mages because, yeah, that's the highest damage we can uh, deal. Whenever you see a low health infantry, uh, try to help your alliance members because they will just die very, very soon. And it's always better to clear the uh, battlefield from them. Uh, like this guy, he's uh, moving up and whenever you are a tier 4 player, I'm not sure if you want to move up so much uh, towards uh, the enemy lines. So if you are a tier 5 player, you have enough defenses, you have enough, uh, like in general, enough HP to tank it and deal damage uh, on the counter attack. Unfortunately, somehow I'm managing to, uh, like, click on my uh, world like uh, Garwood to make him come back to the battlefield but yeah we are doing fine even without him uh, this is how I play I always try to hide behind my alliance members so I won't gonna get targeted uh, like getting targeted is the only way you are going to get, receive some damage yeah like three mages he's like uh, moved up a, a little bit I guess um, he, like he or she just gifting us some merits in this fight uh, yeah like most important is always to understand uh, the beauty of having uh, wars is like in the end checking the report and finding out how you generally did them um, in these fights uh, yeah like these infantry heroes especially for tier fours are really really easy to kill that's why uh, if you do see uh, a couple of legions of infantry moving up uh, towards you uh, like you should generally click it and you will understand that they are not tier 5s like sometimes uh, last seasons i always had a fight against tier 5 players and i was always cautious uh, regarding hitting tier 5 uh, and infantry legions but like since i'm fighting against like same kind of power uh, players as me uh, time by time I understand that I should click on them because they generally die really really soon Yeah, I was fighting only with uh, my older like this is generally what I don't like I need to click uh, on my legions a couple of times whenever I'm using my artifact, but that's fine I guess uh, we are getting the automatic uh, autocast on the artifacts, so I think uh, 
like slowly we are going to get uh, more and more combat experience in a better way in this game uh, simply because like these call of dragons developers are innovative uh, there is have been a lot of kingdom builder games uh, with a different kind of combats but none of them had something like this uh, so i i have trust in them that they will going to make this game more and more better uh, while we are all only in the season one uh, of the of this game in general so like everything is just starting i think i'm going to use in a perfect way my phoenix eye here uh like hitting all the enemies which are like maximum four like always good to uh, see of course it's like kind of struggle to use artifacts with long range warfare but trust me staying alive matters more uh, than using your artifact at, at once or twice uh, let's see uh, how much merits we are going to get like for example whenever i see uh, somebody moving up that's a moment i can Use my artifact there. Like, yeah, cavalry units. Like if the tier five cavalry units are all right, I somehow managed to double click on the moving up, and my legions moved up. That's a mistake you should not do, actually. Uh, simply because, as I said, I was trying my best to use the artifact there, and uh, like it got like my my uh, hero's movement was pretty weird. I wish I could have a control of the uh, heroes whenever I will use the artifact, but unfortunately it's hard to control it. Uh, maybe like I'm making same mistake all the time. Uh, I just need to be cautious. What's left is mages, and that's a perfect target for us. Um, my legion's health looking uh, like totally fine. Only Nico, well, he is. Uh, getting hurt, but yeah, we are fighting for a long time. Um, I don't see anything wrong um, Having low health uh, Legions whenever you are fighting for like 20 minutes or 10 minutes, right? Actually somebody hit the send uh, lizard which is not great Soon we are going to check the merit score of this fight. I, I still think the first fight was even better uh, in terms of the pure score uh, because in this fight I made a small mistake which is uh, I moved my legions up which you should never do like doesn't really matter if you are fighting against tier 4s or if you are fighting against tier 5s you don't want to get targeted uh, that's the main idea of uh, like having a lot of merits right I will try my try to just move up in order to feel i guess because this is the amount of uh yeah finally this guy popped up he will help us to go home faster i guess uh which is not not a problem because we had a low health on our allegiance uh, and of course whenever enemy is hitting your marksman uh, they are receiving huge amount of counter-attack damage like that's why i choose to play with marksman in general uh, Syndrome is still alive, dealing some damage, well finally he is gone and let's try and let's see how much merits we got uh, out of this skirmish as I said it would be worse than the first one uh, uh, simply because uh, in this fight we made a mistake this is the difference between making no, make, making no mistake uh, on the bottom row and this is the difference between making a one mistake moving up and uh, a lot of people targeting your legions uh, this is how you can generally have fun in Call of Dragons if you think that you are not going to get merits um, simply because of being a free-to-play player. That's totally wrong. Uh, I think you are going to have a lot of fun in this game if you are just beginner, if you are like figuring out the game or you are only the fan of the game. Uh, you will agree with me that the combat gameplay is one of the best uh, which we have ever seen for the Kingdom Builder games. Thanks for watching, the idea behind the video was to showcase the fighting gameplay of the Call of Dragons, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, of course fighting against tier 4s uh, like uh, hospital looks even better, if I have fought with like against tier 5s I would have like at least 1 million uh, wounded troops. Thanks for watching, I hope my videos are helping you, I hope you are enjoying the content in general and of course I'm going to continue it because it became my hobby. 
Uh, if you like the content, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to continue making videos for this game. Uh, I hope you are having an amazing day, morning, night, wherever you are. Uh, I'm gonna see you very, very soon. Goodbye and good luck.